All right, we just got pulled over. Cruise the Doberman. Pincher. Oh, man. I just want to see how he reacts. Hello. Hey. Yeah, we're getting pulled over right now. <laughs> Got a dog in the car. I want to see. See, we've never been pulled over with him. In the I thought car. he was talking about you, and I was about to say hit him. I won't. <laughs> it's a good boy. No, don't don't do that. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> pulled over. <laughs> so I want. I turned. I want to see how he reacted to a, a dog in the car. So, you said the thing I seen was Coco. I was about to say she hit you. He's doing good. He's getting pulled over by the police. Yeah, that's. Cool. And he's doing really, really good. Yeah. Okay. How fast was I going? Is he not supposed to react good? Well, he's real protected by his car. All right, we just got pulled over, and uh, we get to see we got to see how my buddy here, Cruz, did getting pulled over. It's first time. I want to say that he did really good because any other time he would have flipped out with somebody coming into the window, and I think it's because the man was in a uniform that his daddy. I think so too. I think so too. I think yeah. it helped that he's familiar with with policemen and that it's a normal thing for him. And it may be because I didn't sense it as a confrontational thing. There was no anxiety from me like, oh my God, we're getting pulled over. Oh, what we're gonna do? Because this is my jurisdiction. I'm a police officer in this jurisdiction, and you know, I I, I know that it's gonna be. I know these guys. I know they're not out to hurt anybody, and I knew everything's gonna be fine. He didn't sense any anxiety from me in the part of it. Anything else? I just, I think, just because when we're out, when I'm out with him, he'll see a police officer and automatically sees them as a friend. So yeah. I really think it is the uniform. I think it's the fact that he sees this uniform and he puts it together like this is my daddy's friend. Yep. So. With that said, I'm also gonna say this. It's a good idea to have your dog in a seat belt. Not only for if you were to wreck, but also if he were to sense this as a confrontation, if he was to sense this as something is wrong here, these people are gonna hurt us. He may try to attack and it might get your dog shot uh, because the policeman has the right to protect himself. And if this dog's acting like he's trying to get to him and, and you know, Dobermans are intimidating looking. Um, you may shoot your dog. So keep your dog latched back in, a, in some kind of seatbelt position. Uh, let the officer know as he's approaching your car, listen, I have a dog in here. Uh, he's safe, but you know, I want to keep everybody safe. Keep your hands where they can see them. Don't be digging around for papers or, or act like, you know, the, give the guy a reason to think, the officer a reason to think that you might be searching for a weapon. Don't do that. I know you're going to be in an anxious time, an anxious moment. You know me thinking real clearly, but keep your hands up on the wheel or at the window, somewhere they can see them and let them know, listen, I have a dog in here. I'm not a threat. I just want to keep my dog safe.